Riverbourne Community Farm is a community-based project creating a 1960s working farm for the Salisbury area and they've recently added a classroom made of straw bales. It is um, compacted straw bales and they're held together with hazel sticks just, just um, forced down through the middle of them all uh, within a timber frame and then there are three layers of lime render over the top. Um, and it's very well constructed, it will last as long as a, an average house. Um, uh, it also, there's no fire risk either, the straw is so compacted that there's no, no risk of fire. Um, so they're actually a very safe, strong building. In the winter, the classroom is warm but remains cool in summer. 80% of the funding for the building came from Natural England. We needed a classroom in order to invite BTEC students over, students from local secondary schools, usually aged between about 14 and 15. Uh, so they come to the farm to do a, a BTEC in um, animal care. Some of them want to go on to agricultural colleges and do further education in those kind of subjects, which obviously we're a perfect lead in for because they're getting experience of all the animals here. And some of them have special needs, so team working, communication skills, um, increases their confidence. We see a massive increase in confidence over the period of a year because they tend to come to us for a whole day a week for a whole school year or sometimes two school years. As part of teaching bird husbandry the farm have a breeding program. We try and hatch some kind of birds every year with the students because it's a great process for them to see but we've never hatched game birds at all before so these are the first quails that we've ever hatched and we've also got some golden pheasant in with them. And golden pheasant are quite interesting because they all look like female pheasants until they start growing up and then the adult male ones suddenly develop really almost parrot-like colouring. So they're red, blue and yellow with a golden head. So they're really unusual. So the students are really avidly watching the one male pheasant we've got at the moment to watch him changing colour, which is great. Raya Barton, That's TV.